Hi, today we're going to just um, explore a couple of basic tools and some shortcuts. And these are uh, these specific tools are some you're going to end up using probably every day. Um, I drew this uh, little funny bear with geometric shapes and uh, just so I could have something to use. Um, and man, maybe he looks more like a mouse than a bear. Let me make his nose a little bit smaller here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just wanted something to use to uh, illustrate this. I'm going to group this. Control G or on my menu up here, group, group. Um, and I'll make him small. Now we're going to learn align and distribute, which you probably see up here on your menu under arrange. And if you can't see this, if it's blurry, you might want to go down to your settings in YouTube and um, change it to a high definition picture. So anyway, we have our bear or mouse or whatever he is, and I'm going to copy it. Control C is the shortcut, or it's up here on your menu. Uh, copy up here and paste it. Paste, 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 paste. Now I've got a bunch of these all on top of each other. And um, what we want to do is put them all into a straight line. So I'm going to marquee select these. We'll go up here to align and distribute, arrange, align and distribute. And you can see that there are shortcuts for all the aligns. And then down here is the distribute menu. Distribute. Now let's see how some of that stuff works. First, let's get all the bears out. I forgot how many I had. That's all there are. And we want to put all these bears on a straight horizontal line. And uh, I can do that just with the E key, like that. And the way I knew it was the E key was because, once again, arrange. Align and Distribute, oops, I have to have it selected, uh, Arrange, Align and Distribute, Align left is L, right, R, top, T, and you can imagine what each one of these does, aligns it either on the left edge, right edge, top, whatever. Align Centers Horizontally is the one I used, that's the E key. And align centers vertically is the C key. You're going to find yourself using C and E all the time. So if you have a line of objects like this, you click E. They align horizontally. If you click, if you got them this way, and you click the C key after you select them, select C. That lines them all up vertically. Now, even though they're lined up, they're not spaced out properly. You want them spaced equally, and that's where the distribute command comes into play. So let's put them all back in a random way. I'm going to hit my E. That gets them all lined up. And keep them selected. Go back up here to Arrange. Align and Distribute. This time we're going down here. Align and Distribute, which opens up this menu. I'll go to the Distribute tab. And you can distribute them vertically or horizontally. And you can use left edge, center, spacing, the spacing between the objects, or the right edge. Almost always I use center, although there are times when you use the others as well. Distribute to extent of selection means it's going to start on the left bear and end on the right bear. And then if I click apply, all the bears are now spaced apart and perfectly lined up. And as you can already imagine, if you're vertical, and you marquee select your bears hit your C that lines them all up and then distribute we're already on this menu center or uh, but this is horizontal so we want to go down here to this vertical one click center 
and we'll apply that and that distributes the bears from top to bottom. So now we know how to align and distribute objects uh, horizontally and vertically. Let's try one more thing. What if we want our bears to go from left to right down a path like this? In that case, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm only going to use two bears. I'll leave these guys over here. So I'm going to use these two bears. In fact, let's move these out so we don't get confused here. I kind of like them, so I'll leave them over on the side. All right, so we're going to use two bears here, one here, and we want our bears to go on uh, diagonally from here to here. I'll once again marquee select it, and this time we'll use a different tool. This is the blend, and the blend can be used for dozens or even hundreds of different things, but uh, the basic blend is just uh, to put objects, uh, to, well, you'll see what it does. Effects right up here. Um, blend that opens up our blend menu, and we have our number of steps. Now I got four bears in here, so I'm going to make this four. We'll see how this tool works. If I just go apply, there's my bears on a diagonal line the way I wanted them. And the reason I didn't use these bears here is because the blend will draw the bears or whatever you're using on the path uh, as many bears as you want. Remember I said four, but I could have said five and it would have put an extra bear in there. So as many bears as you want. And the cool thing about the blend is now that it's a blend, it's, it's, a, it's a single, it's not a single object, but it's a blend path. So if you actually think maybe it should have been over here, the blend will follow either of these beginning or ending objects wherever you put it. So you can always uh, make adjustments to it depending on what you're doing. Um, now, once it's a blend, this is sort of a what they call a blend group. And if you want to take one of these out or move it or whatever, you want to go up here to arrange, uh, break, blend group apart and then your top and bottom one will be independent of each other these are going to be grouped so if I go to ungroup at that point we are back to individual objects and can start over or do whatever we want so there are a few tools you're going to use quite often remember the C and the E for aligning vertically and horizontally the distribute and the blend. Practice with these and you'll find yourself using these techniques every day to make your drawing easier, faster, and more fun. I hope your next project goes well.